Hey guys, so today I felt really inspired actually to do a makeup tutorial slash hair and I actually feel really excited that I feel inspired because it doesn't happen a lot. Since like I started doing YouTube I've got a lot more into style but I love when I feel like really doing a certain look so this video isn't sponsored or anything but I oh, I love the images from if you know the brand the fashion brand for love and lemons their images are gorgeous their summer collection um, and I just really wanted to do my hair like that and everything so it's sun it's Sunday afternoon and I just thought I'd film it because it's just fun to do I've got a bit of free time so um, I'll link the pictures down below so you guys can have a little look I'm sure you'll love them as well I've never said that I'm a professional makeup artist or I'm the best at doing any sort type of look but if you guys want to see me try and recreate this then keep on watching um so i'm going to start by using charlotte tilbury's magic cream moisturizer which i love and i wanted to say that i used someday riley luna last night on my skin it's the first time i used it and i loved it i think it's improved my skin overnight oh also i'm wearing a bit of mas mascara because i've been wearing it today but i'll just leave it on Next I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer, kind of like a pea-sized amount, work it into the skin. Oh, I want to create a really gorgeous base that's quite dewy, quite natural looking, but also quite bronzy. I should have put this on before primer, damn it, um, but I'm going to apply a little bit anyway. It's the Dr. Hoshka um, Translucent Bronzing Tint. Just going to give it a little shake first. This is like sun in a bottle, like instant facial suntan. For foundation, I'm gonna mix two very different foundations, but this one is more so for the color, to give me a bit of a deeper color. Um, and then also the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Light Wonder Foundation, which is in number nine dark Syracuse. add a bit more of Charlotte Tilbury. For under my eyes I'm going to use Clarins Instant Concealer in number three. Love this, it's just like, it's like foundation concealer, it's so effective. You only need a tiny bit, so I'm going to a few dots here, a few dots on the other eye, using my Real Techniques brush. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in number two medium um, and Real Techniques Duo Fibre Face Brush. I love this brush at the moment. Just a really light dusting. I'm just going to take it down my T-zone a little bit under the eye to set that concealer. Oh, I'm not going to want to take this makeup off now. <laughs> I've got nowhere to go tonight. It's just going to chill, so. Okay, eyebrows. So I've been loving this recently. Um, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift. Recently I've been just starting at the front here, just doing upward strokes. And I think it really, brows like this, looking a slightly more rugged and natural, will work really well with this look. So I'm not going to make them too heavy. If you guys want, I'll try and do a um, like a makeup dupes video because this is brilliant. This product, but if you're looking for something similar, I'm sure I can find a drugstore alternative. Okay, just trying to make them look like natural hairs, and then going across slightly just to make it look a little bit neater. like that I think. I don't mind if they look slightly messy because I don't want that Instagram perfect HD brow. Okay I'm gonna go for a little bit of Vex eyeshadow which looks like this all over the eye just as a bit of a base and kind of a highlight in the inner tear duct. I think it's a really nice colour if you've got green eyes or maybe brown eyes. Um, Max Patina, I'm going to take that all over the lid. Love the shade. I think it's supposed to be one that 
Victoria Beckham likes or something. And then I'm also just going to dust a bit of that under the eye. Okay, then I'm going to take um, Satin Taupe, famous MAC eyeshadow. I'm going to use a winged liner brush, or just a, well, like an angle brush, not a winged brush. And I'm going to place that really close into the lash line. So then I'm going to take this Inglot shade, this one here, kind of like a cool toned brown, it's got shimmer in it as well. I'm going to place that in the crease. And I'm just going to take that under the eye, under the eye as well. Okay, and then to add a little bit of a ethereal tone to it, I'm going to take Max. What is this? Tempting Luster Eyeshadow, very sparkly. Um, I'm just going to dust that quite lightly on top. Hard to show on camera. Ah, you can kind of see it now, the colours correcting. Okay, my favourite time, time for eyeliner. <laughs> so I'm choosing my normal liner, it's the L'Oreal Super Liner in Black Liquor. So I'm going to bring the line this time in a little bit further than usual. So I was, I'm going to start there. So I hold it like this, like a, I don't know, you just got more leverage with the brush. I'm not going to make the outer flick too big because so I'm going to apply false lashes. Okay, so I've applied the lashes. I'm just gonna use some of the Erin uh, mascara to go over my lower lashes and my kind of inner lashes here. Just so it blends a little bit. <laughs> I've hardly got any inner lashes. It's quite sad. Oh my God, I don't. Okay, so <laughs> the bottom ones. move on with the rest of the face I'm gonna just line my waterline because I think it looks a little bit odd with that upper line being so dark and then the bottom line isn't so I'm just using like a greyish liner for the skin I love this this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, sorry no, there's so much so much Charlotte Tilbury I just really love using her products it's film star bronze and glow but it's cream instead of powder so I use this darker one with the Real Techniques stippling brush and I apply that where I want it to look like I've been tanned basically I put it more on the tops of the cheekbones bit down my nose forehead around the jawline then I'll use the lighter colour for highlight down the nose cheekbones I just think it's a lot easier to use than powder actually because it just blends in so nicely then I've also got this, sorry from Charlotte Tilbury, but it's the colour of youth. I'm going to use this to give me a little kind of natural flush of colour there on the cheeks. On the lips I'm just going to go quite 
neutral but gloss slightly glossy i'm using one of my favorite products it's the l'oreal something but it looks like this <laughs> everything's rubbed off the packaging but it's like a lipstick gloss Oh, it's in Nude Ballet. Now for the hair. So I love this hair in the photos. Um, in mine might be a little bit more unruly than that one, even though that one is quite unruly. It's just massive, bouncy, voluminous curls. So I'm gonna use, the only curler that I have that is that big is this. It's the Numi or the Noom, kind of like a three-way styler one, and I put in the biggest, biggest barrel. So I'm just gonna warm that up. And all I'm gonna do is start at the bottom, work my way up to the top, just, curling like you usually do so I'll just speed it up a little bit so it's not really boring for you guys. She's slightly less curly than I wanted it to be. Maybe I need the smaller, the smaller barrel. But anyway, I'm gonna brush it out and um, back comb a bit. Now I don't have one of those um, teasing combs. I wish I did. Yeah, their hair is so teased in the campaign. So if you have a teasing comb, it would work a lot better. You can get them from Boots, you can get them really cheap. I don't know why I don't have one. So because the curls are kind of bigger than I wanted, I want some of them to be a bit tighter. I'm just gonna use my Enrapture Curling Iron. Oh, I love this. And I'm gonna set it on 333. Okay, so this is my attempt at the crazy, sexy, bedhead, big hair, and I'm no um, hairdresser, so it's not perfect. I feel really 80s. <laughs> so I hope you've liked this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, give the video a like if you liked it, and I'll put all my social media links and everything down below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day. Bye.